Their siege in their own zone. Can they get it out? No, they don't. They got it to the blue line. Second crack, and it's off the glass, and that one will send it back mercifully to the other blue line. But once again, on the counterattack, there's Duhamel, and Ditzel puts it up high. Aaron Stick scores! Popping it upstairs. And Johnny Timmons gets the equalizer for the Bombers. We got a 1-1 tie. Broken stick on the ice and everything. And Darian Feaser made some unbelievable saves in tight on the exchange just prior to that. But Johnny Timmons smacks it in behind the Port Alberni Bombers goaltender. And they've done just that. There's a heavy hit in front of the Buccaneers bench as the puck goes the other way. Now it's deep in Bucks territory as Clark does battle. Right off to the uh, right of the goal. Oh, and a quick turnaround goal by Timmons, and he's got his second. Johnny Timmons fires one from the top of the faceoff circle, and he beats Darian Feaser, and it bang, bang, just like that. It's a 2 2 tie. Just it, as they're announcing. And that's uh, Owen Stanley, by the way, every blocking getting down. Kyver Brugge into the face-off circle, draws it back to the point for Caleb Mattel. Shot towards the goal, and that's a right pad save by Feaster, and he's quickly back into position. Now he's tight to the post with a paddle on the ice. Now he surveys as he moves over to his left in the slot. They score! Up over the shoulder, Kyver Brugge scores. And it was the way that they worked it around the perimeter behind the goal and then up to the top of the face-off circle they find Kyver Brugge and as I told you those cowbells are ringing here at the Nanaimo Ice Center and years ago there were a lot of fans so the Buccaneers down another two men and this is a big test for them they're down 4-3 Bombers back to Tennant on the near side for Ellis Winters. He's a right shooting defender. Sends it back to the top of the umbrella for Tennant. Works it to Spafford. Shoots, he scores! It went over the trapper. I think that Feaser got a piece of it. And that's going to kill one of those two minor penalties. But it's a two goal lead for the Bombers. And Nick Spafford on the feed from Ellis Winters and Tennant. He makes it 5-3. Bodies go crashing into the boards. Wade has to back up. And now Fellbaum trying to help out as the counterattack coming in from the captain. Kyver Brugge shoots and that one's off, off the outside of the pad and he gets hammered to the ice by Wade. And then Wade gets stapled to the boards. Game's getting physical. Here comes Nick Spafford. He has a goal put to the side of the net and it's tucked in by the captain Kyver Brugge. And he's got his second of the night and it's 6-3 for the bomb squad. Oh, it was painful just watching that puck sitting there and Darian Fesser basically in the splits and he's already committed down along the ice. Tim and shoots and that's off of the blocker of Fesser and he makes a good stop as he's being screened heavily in front by Ditzel who keeps battling with McKenzie. Comes to the point near side for Ellis Winter. Shoots and that's off of the pad. And it comes right back out. 58 to go in the power play. Tennant, load, scores! It took a tip in front. Somewhere about the middle of the face-off circle, it got redirected, and I don't know who did. But Solstice Tennant's the one leading this goal parade, and the bomb squad has another goal. It's another power play marker, and I think Solstice Tennant will get credit for it. I think it was...